This video is sponsored by Caleb and Brown. They help their clients buy, sell, and swap cryptocurrencies with a 24-7 personal broker service. Sign up today. Now, I should have just one more article for you guys to cover, and it's about why we do not take screenshots of our seed phrase when we do it. Because looks like there is a new Android malware that steals private keys from screenshots and images. According to a recent FBI warning, the North Korean hackers are aggressively targeting the crypto industry with well-disguised attacks. So yeah, when you guys set up your crypto wallet, it's like just always be sure that like you back it up, you're not taking a screenshot of it, a photo, because like, oh, it helps me remember if that data gets sent to the cloud. You write it on a piece of paper, put it in your safe or wherever you keep a protected piece of paper, and you only pull it out when you need it. So just it is common sense, but there's still people out there who do this anyways and uh, I hate when I hear people like do it because it's like, a, no, that's a no-go. Don't do it. Let's see how they're actually getting this data and information. So a new Android malware called Spy Agent, discovered by software security firm McCafe, can steal private keys stored in screenshots and images on smartphones' internal storage. More specifically, the malware uses a mechanism known as optical character recognition, otherwise known as OCR, and it scans images stored on a smartphone and extracts words from them. OCR is present in many technologies, including desktop computers, which can recognize and copy and paste text from images. McCafe Labs explain that the malware is distributed through malicious links sent through text messages. The cybersecurity company broke down the process, beginning with the unsuspecting user clicking on a link they received. So it looks like this all happened from January, June, and like here's just some of the targets for how they did it. So yeah, so there is a bunch of like... I'm, I know I'm getting text messages too, like all the time from scammers, just fake people don't even know, like asking for a job, but like those links in there may actually have like a malware that will want to implement. So just never click on anything you do not know or do not know who it came from. Now the link will redirect the users to a seamlessly legitimate website and prompt them to download an application presented as trustworthy. However, applications is the spy agent malware and installing it will comp compromise the phone. According to the report, these fraudulent programs are disguised as banking apps, government applications, and streaming services. Upon installing the applications, users are prompted to give this application permission to access contacts, messages, and local storages. Now here is a control panel of the malicious actors used to manage the data stolen from its victims. Now currently, the malware mainly targets South Korean users and has been detected in over 280 fraudulent apps by McAfee Cybersecurities. So yeah, it may not have affected you guys at all because it's been mainly South Korean people, but hopefully you South Korean viewers out there who watch my show, I do actually watch the analytics. Hopefully you are well aware of this. But malware attacks are on the rise in 2024. Similar malware is affecting Mac OS systems called Cthulhu Stealer, I covered that a while ago, was identified in August like a spy agent. Cthulhu Stealer disguises itself as a legitimate software application and steals personal information from the users, including MetaMask passwords, IP address, and private keys for cold wallets living on the desktop. During the same month, Microsoft discovered a vulnerability in Google Chrome's web browser, which was likely exploited by a North Korean hacker group called Citrin Sleet. The hacker group reportedly created fake cryptocurrency exchanges and used those sites to send fraudulent job applications to unsuspecting users, and any user who followed through with the process inadvertently installed remotely controlled malware on their system, which stole their private keys from the user. So again, like I say, when you write down your seed phrase, you put it away and you don't pull it off for anything unless you need to recover your wallet because your device got broken or whatnot. But like these apps are out there like are saying, oh, you got to input your seed phrase. Don't do that because that's a sign of a... <laughs> fake one of a fake exchange so don't do it like your, your account's fine don't trust it just be careful but since that time the chrome vulnerability has been patched however the frequency of the malware attacks prompted the federal bureau of investigation to issue warnings about the north korean hacker group and yeah i've covered at least like two articles within the past couple months about the fbi making warnings was it really like maybe a month of a part but no like now they're even cracking down because they're because i guess the news is just reaching them too but no, so just this is a warning to everyone out there. Just be careful what you click on. Don't take screenshots of your seed phrase. That's just common knowledge that you should know, but sometimes it just has to be repeated.